So this is the cabinet that I'm going to make some progress on because of a nice donation of a new uh, monitor tube and chassis. I have previously uh, this machine to give, give a bit of a history. Um, I picked up for a hundred dollars in the local neighborhood. Um, it had a bomb jack PCB in it um, and um, basically the person it had, it had been working uh, obviously stopped working for some reason unknown I believe the power supply may have failed uh, that person has then gone mucking around inside it they put another power supply in um, set the voltages wrong um, the um, uh, and then it mucked around and pulled out all sorts of wires and things like that so the bomb jack PCB is in my p repair pile and definitely doesn't work at all um, but what I've done is I um, I added this vinyl to the front to cover up some of the um, the damage there. I've put brand new controls and button and buttons in. Um, I've rewired the whole thing so it's got a brand new harness in it. Um, it now has uh, locks that work as well, um, and it's got my it actually does actually have my Tutankhamun board in there. This is just a temporary uh, printed off my laser printer marquee. I'll get a proper marquee made in these dimensions and make it Tutankham. And it's going to have Tutankham as its primary but obviously then it'll be a nicely uh, a nice machine that'll be able to take vertical jammers um, boards and of course it'll have a Konami converter board in there so I'll be able to run all my vertical Konami so I'll be able to put you know Juno first I could put a Time Pilot in there or even a, a Time Pilot 84 so um, yeah, I could have a couple in there and maybe I should put a jammer switcher in there so I could have two boards in there at once. There's enough room inside um, and it'll be a nice little cabinet. So uh, let's go and have a look at the um, the monitor that I got donated and then um, get it all wired up. Right, so here we have the tube. Um, all it looks in very nice condition. Let's talk this up a bit. Um, and as you can see the tube is in good condition, doesn't look like it's got any burning or anything like that. And all of the um, strapping all looks in good condition. And we have the chassis which has been serviced. So it's had the um, all the capacitors done on it. So it's and, you know, should work straight out of the box which is really good and funnily enough the machine I'm going to put it in it's exactly the same chassis as came out of that one so this is the one I've had sitting around uh, waiting for to have the money because you've got to pay for postage to send off to the people and then it costs $150 to for them to service and send it back now now that I've potentially got a working one I may actually have a go at changing some of the capacitors on this myself and will allow me to have a bit of a swap but because it's exactly the same I will try this new one with the actual uh, tube that's in the machine first um, but I did notice because um, I said the person who I got this cabinet off mucked around with the wires inside I do believe they have removed excellently knocked off some of these um, monitor ground wires so May, and it may, you know, it may actually have not have been the chassis that was faulty on this one. It may actually be some of this wiring they've messed up. So we'll work that out. And at least by trying this one, I know that works with the um, tube. If it doesn't work, then I'll switch the tubes over, and then I can try and repair um, the the remaining um, tube wires and see how we go from there. So here's the back of our cabinet. So we have the existing tube in there. It does look like most of the wiring on that tube is okay. Um, so I will just try the new uh, chassis board with this tube and see how we go. I don't have the Tutankham plugged in for testing. I've just got um, my... Um, it's a multi-vertical game. I can't remember the name of the one. It's got like a hundred games on it and it's good to just test and stuff to make sure it is it's got a brand new good power supply in there um, the step down there there's obviously some wires need to be tied up and things but it's only 
temporarily um, but everything else is all in there ready to go so let's get the um, uh, new chassis wired up and just see if we get something on the monitor right so I've got my old 48 in 1 plugged uh, wired up um, fire it up seconds let's go and have a look at the screen and we have perfectly stable screen that fan's not as noticeable when the um, back's shut that's good to have a fan in there so things don't get too hot That's a really clear picture, perfectly stable. So that means there's nothing wrong with this tube at all. Now it's got a good neck, no burning. Even the screen dimensions aren't too bad. Well, see, I need to put some credits in, so I'm going to have to do that with the old, good old wire shorting. sun coming in the door but look at that picture that obviously all that was wrong with this one originally was the chassis so if I replace the same capacitors that have been replaced on this one I should be able to get my original chassis out of this one going and then I have another screen that'll be complete so really really cool all right let's go and put in the game that I'm going to put in this cabinet and give it a try Right, so next test, I have the uh, Tutankhamun board wired up. <clears throat> Obviously, need to um, tidy up some of this wiring, but uh, let's fire that up. flash bomb. Very important thing when playing this game. So custom harness to make, obviously needs control panel overlay, um, a proper uh, lighted marquee, uh, maybe adjust the sound so it's not so loud, and get the settings right. Um, I'll get a arcade one up button for down here. And um, here there's a proper control panel overlay, a bit of perspex over that. And we should have a lovely little mini Put and calm cabinet. 
Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.